Good day, this is Tracy Davis with a journey through the book of Psalms series. And today we are in Psalm 35, Petition for God's Intervention, a Psalm of David. Let's go to him in prayer. Our Father God, we come this time in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we thank you and praise you, Lord God, for all your good and your kindness. We thank you for just bringing us through this uh, beautiful day, Father God. And we ask, Lord God, that you just uh, bless us in your word open up our understanding, our mind, and our minds, Lord God, help us to um, learn what you're going to teach us, instruct us, and guide us in your word on today, and help us, Father God, um, wait on you during those moments when we need your intervention from our enemies. In Jesus' name, amen. So we are in Psalm 35, and this is it's 28 lines, and we have a lot of reference scripture and a lot of cross-reference scriptures. And just uh, reading this psalm, you know, you, you know, it is a, a, a lamenting psalm where uh, David is praying for God's deliverance, and and also in an imprecatory psalm where he all, he's also asking for God's wrath and uh, judgment against his enemies, all right? And so just a range of emotions, you know, that we're going to read uh, in Psalm 35. And, you know, like I alluded to before in the, in the introduction, that these are uh, emotions and, and, and situations that we, we face ourselves. You know, when someone does us something, we want God to handle it. God, please do something so I don't have to get myself in trouble. All right, I'm praying to you. I'm seeking your guidance to take care of this for me. And so and this is what David is doing. He doesn't want to try to uh, repay anybody back. He's asking God to intervene on his behalf. So let's go ahead and get started in line one. Plead my cause, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Also draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. Say to my soul, I am your salvation. All right, so we are, uh, so in our first stanza, we have three lines that we're going to cover. And so it says, plead my cause. That means contend for me in line one. Contend for me, O Lord, with those who strive with me. Fight against those who fight against me. So, of course, when the Lord is on your side and my side, you know, on the righteous side, all right, so we asking, you know, if there are people fighting against us, then you fight against them, all right? So, and that's what he's asking God to do. Two, take hold of shield and buckler. That buckler is like a small shield. So, you say take hold of a shield and a small shield. Also, draw out the spear and stop those who pursue me. So those, so he's asking God, you know, to take out the shield. You use a shield for a shield for protection, but also take out that spear and be able to what? Uh, stop those when you know when God shoot that spear, then that was going to stop those who pursuing him. And then it says, "Say to my soul, I am your salvation." And so he's asking you know, uh, God, you know, to encourage his soul that he is his salvation. Let's move on to the second stanza, line four. Let those be put to shame and brought to dishonor who seek after my life. Let those be turned back and brought to confusion who plot my hurt. Let them be like chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let their way be dark and slippery, and let the angel of the Lord pursue them. For without cause they have hidden their net for me in a pit, which they have dug without cause for my life. Let destruction come upon him unexpectedly, and let his net that he has hidden catch himself into that very destruction. Let him fall. All right, so that's a long stanza from four to eight. And so what we're going to do, we're going to go in and pause here 
and then we're going to come back and elaborate on it.